Loving Dear Hearts, it's Miss D. It's Sunday, and it just dawned on me this Sunday here in Seattle, Washington, that I have been being a, a YouTube video creator for a month, a little bit over a month now. And so I just wanted to check in this morning and just say how exciting this um, time has been to begin the process of becoming a YouTube creator and learning all there is to learn about editing and making videos and just really self-discovery. Um, I find that the channel has allowed me a place to expand and explore my creative side. I wanted to say thank you to the 20 subscribers that have looked at some of the videos that I have made and decided that they wanted to go on this journey with me. Um, I am really happy to know that there's something that's reaching somebody out there. I have this one subscriber, um, this one dear heart, as I call all of you uh, subscribers, that has been very consistent in um, commenting on the videos and giving support. So I just wanted today, as I'm recognizing that I have been um, creating for a little bit more than a month, I want to give a shout out to Michael Williams. Uh, I appreciate, Mike, that you are looking at the videos and uh, making comments and just really being supportive. I have a few um, of these 20 subscribers that I do know who you are. Um, and I want to say to all those people that are family and friends that have subscribed, thank you. I appreciate the support. I'm having the time of my life, um, enjoying the process here. I want to give a shout out, I guess, in this month long um, process to my daughter, Erica, and thank her for all the support she's really given. She is the person that um, will edit for me. Um, as I'm learning myself how to edit, but she is a very supportive daughter in that she she's on her way uh, to take a little family vacation with her family. And right before she um, is ready to leave, she said, Mom, did you make a video? Uh, I leave in the morning tomorrow, but I will make your um, edits for you so you get your weekly um, offering up. And I really, really appreciate that, Miss Erica. Thank you. And then for my co-workers, uh, I want to say thank you for being there and looking at something that I'm doing outside of the work workplace and subscribing and being encouraging. Um, as I have mentioned, I work at a nonprofit agency where we provide services to families and children, um, generally low-income families and children and so the people that I work with are mental health um, counselors and um, psychologists and case managers and people all with a heart that wants to help our community here and for those people um, to, to take time to look at a video made um, by one of their um, teammate and give it time to you and subscribe. I want to say thank you. You're real teammates indeed. And so to YouTube, I, I again want to say thank you for the opportunity to be able to express um, the creative side of me. Um, these videos over the last month um, have been me crafting, me doing my natural hair, me just having uh, a moment to just share what's in my heart. And so I love this venue and plan to continue and grow and do more. So for this Sunday morning, I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you to everybody for the support. Miss D is really grateful for all that you are offering. So this today, I guess, is in the way of an intro. Uh, today, I'm finding myself teeter-tottering against my two loves. I have the love of crafting and I have a love for my natural hair. And so I'm not sure if 
the platform of uh, Miss D's Do It Yourself DTV is the right space to be doing both. But for me, it is who I am. And so for right now, that's what I'm doing. I'm doing crafting and natural hair. I do have a dream, as Martin has said, that one day that I will um, be confident and skilled enough to, to maybe have two channels where I would do one just for crafting and the other just for my natural hair and blend my voice in both where I would speak out about whatever's on my heart in both of those venues. That's down the pipeline, so maybe six months out we'll do that. I have um, said that I'm trying to reach a benchmark of 50 people and then I would do um, a certain craft online uh, in a video form. It happened to be the hot glue gun caddy. I did hear from one of my subscribers, a faithful subscriber, who said she called that um, a bait video. She said she was waiting for that craft to come up and all I did was said when I get to 50, I would uh, do the craft. She did not like that. So listening to um, my fan base, I guess my subscribers, I am um, noticing that that's not the way to go. And so I won't be doing that again. But I am going to stand with uh, waiting for at the 50 before I do the um, gun, uh, hot glue gun holder uh, as a craft here on the channel. Because, you know, once I say something, I do kind of want to live up to that. So I'm looking for the 50 and I will do that. But in the meantime, I'll be doing some other crafts. I have been watching videos and um, because of the way that I'm getting started out, I'm not rating videos yet of the best four to five for any particular subject because this month has been a month of learning for me. And so that part of what I had promised as this channel to be will be coming down the line the further I get into doing what I'm doing. But uh, I do want to say that I have been watching videos and have seen some great creators out there, both in the natural hair community and in the crafting community. And so for those um, YouTube creators, thank you for the inspiration watching uh, your videos inspires me and gives me something to shoot for. And if if you take a moment, kind of look behind me. If you like me and you watch videos, you look at all the scenery behind you. You'll see the um, crap that I made last night. Last night I had a hard time sleeping and got up and lived out my addiction and did a cardboard um, tray. And so in the background, that's what you see the two statues sitting on is the craft that I made last night. Um, so today, I'm probably just going to do what I call fix-it crafts. I have a few projects around um, the craft room that I need to complete. A few things in the house that I want to see if I can um, redo, upgrade, fix. Uh, kind of MacGyver-ish. This morning we have to think of myself as a, a lady MacGyver. I've been taking things and fixing them, recreating them, and I feel like um, my creative juice is MacGyver spirit. And so that's what I'll be doing today. So if you're interested in seeing what Miss D is going to MacGyver, stay tuned. And I'll be right back and we'll begin. Well, as it turns out, my daughter that's leaving um, is taking the children with her, and I thought I'd make a couple little things for my granddaughter's hair for her to wear while she's going to Vegas. She will be going to see her other grandparents, and it's the first time that she will have been to Vegas. So I'm going to just make a little headband really quick with these flowers and then maybe try um, to make her a bling necklace with a, a headband with 
the ribbon. So I saw this on Pinterest briefly, this net headband that was made with the flowers. And so I'm going to try to do my spin on that. So I, uh, the flowers came from the dollar store. You got this whole bundle for a dollar. And the headband I bought from the dollar store some time ago, and so I'm simply just going to uh, put the flowers on the headband. It's actually something her mother wanted um, her to have. Well, we'll give it a whirl, see what we can come up with. So I just used my wire um, cutters from my jewelry making. Kit. Uh, I do make jewelry. I will have to do a craft or two videos on jewelry making. Now, I haven't made these flowered necklaces before, so I'm going to have to play around a little bit with them to, to get it exactly what we want. But what I want to do is protect her hair. I didn't have any clear fingernail polish, but I have this um, sparkle uh, you know, polish. I want to put it on this metal part of the headband so that it doesn't snag her hair. One thing us naturals have to do is protect our hair from these metal pieces that come on headbands and clips. And so fingernail polish will kind of seal it off and kind of keep your hair from snagging on it. So while that's drying, I'm going to look at um, making one of the headbands out of bling wrap. This is the diamond uh, blue color bling. I'm going to make it three rows wide. And what I'm going to simply do with that is just attach it to a headband. Again, uh, staying away from that metal part. And I'll, I'll um, actually put the phenol polish on that after I glue this on. I just want to play around with adhering this to the headband. I'm going to use hot glue and attach it. You try to get in the center row. And attach that around the headband, kind of to where I think is ear to ear for her, and cut it right there. This is for Jasmine, the little grandchild that you saw me make the video out in the park, the tie dye shoes. So this doesn't have to be very big. Trying to do a little section at a time so I can keep it kind of straight on here. My thought is the part where the um, bling wrap is won't stretch after I uh, glue it down. This is a MacGyver move for sure. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think all crafters are have a little MacGyver spirit in them? I think we, we're creating on the on the spot, most of us. And I know I try to use what I have and make it work when I'm doing projects. Like these things were are already around the house and my daughter was saying, oh, she had saw something on Pinterest and she wanted to do it. And so I said, you know, we have some of those things around the house. Let's see what we can do. And 
store and that was just like going to the dollar store we had the supplies <laughs> now we're MacGyvering it together and then for the end I'm going to put it a little bit more make sure it really gets down okay very everywhere. Make sure this end is glued down pretty good too. One headband down. And then on the other, just trying to figure out how to do these flowers. So the thing you know, if I was dried over here, I'm thinking about it put a little bit over here. That's to keep the hair from getting caught in these ends and let it slide through, protect the baby's natural hair. This time we're going to try to glue the flowers on. So I cut those, leaving the stem parts on, but it looks like to me we'll get a better fit if it's flatter. So I'm going to take all the stem parts out. And use more so like the petals. I can always glue some gems in. So what I'm doing is pushing that middle stem part out and then right in the center, I guess we'll have the biggest one. Try to glue that on, petal by petal. So that's what I'm going to go for, gluing the petals on, petal by petal. I'm going to do that, and then I'll come back and show you the finished product. So, dear hearts, I have completed getting the jewel gems glued onto the headband on both of the uh, two that I left with. And now I thought I'd just put a few little embellishments on um, to make it just that much prettier for um, the baby. So I have some of the flowers from the the flower wrap that I had gotten from Amazon some time ago. And I think I'll just add a couple of those inside the middle of the uh, flower. Give her a little sparkle. I think I'll add it in each of them. And one more. Lots of blue fairies. <laughs> Can you see that? Beautiful. It'll be pretty on her little head. And then I thought uh, maybe a little square of the diamond, pure diamond on the blue. Just to bring it up just a little bit. So I'm thinking glue it right in the center. Let's 
see if we can get that to hold. See how that brings it up just a bit more. And then I thought I'd put a flower right in the middle of that. Or maybe on each side. Yeah, right in the middle would be pretty. Pretty, right? All right, there we have Divas headbands for her trip to Vegas. That's Grandma MacGyver and the baby's going away gift. Hope you enjoy it as much as I enjoyed making. See you next time. Have a great week.